Good evening. Good evening. I'm Nari Strether, Director of the Center for Ethics and Religions here at Queen's University of Charlotte. I want to welcome you and say we're very glad to see so many of you here on this rainy night. Tonight's talk is being presented in cooperation with Charlotte Pop Fest and the Bancroft Science Office Series. Without these folks, tonight's event would not have been possible. And I'd like to ask Mr. James Dean and Mr. Bill Bancroft to please rise and let us recognize and thank them. Public. 
In 2005, the Alfred Topher Foundation awarded him a Shakespeare Prize, not for his acting, although I'm sure he's very good, but in recognition of his concise and accessible presentation of scientific knowledge. In 2006, he earned the Lewis Thomas Prize for writing about science. In 2007, he earned the Galaxy British Book Awards Author of the Year Award, and this should surprise no one, in 2007, Time Magazine awarded him or announced him as one of the 100 most influential people in the world. He has impassioned us to look beyond the easy and the convenient, to find the greater truth, from the microscopic to the universal, using the only real tools we have at our disposal, the human ability to observe, to wonder, and to explore. And if you find yourself observing and wondering one Carolina night looking up at the night sky, you might just find Asteroid 8331. That would be Asteroid 8331 Dawkins, named especially for him. What we owe to Charles Darwin is a profound debt for helping us realize how life on Earth evolves. That contribution has changed how we see ourselves as human beings. The debt we owe to Richard Dawkins is slightly different. That debt is for reminding us, sometimes forcefully, sometimes subtly, always with great clarity and good humor, that we, as a very clever species indeed, must use rational analysis of evidence if we are to understand our Earth and its true history. In a world faced with challenges of intellectual apathy, a preoccupation with the trivial, and perhaps most dangerously, ambivalence in the matters of science, I think you will agree with me that we need voices that speak to the importance of humanity's ability to observe, to wonder, and to explore. And fortunately, we have such a person with us tonight. Please join me in welcoming to Queen's University of Charlotte, Dr. Richard Dahl. Thank you. 